Well, there were two Latter-day Saints on their LDS mission in Russia when they were taken hostage and then held for ransom. Their five-day ordeal is now a feature film. Our Matt the Movie Guy sits down with the director of the Saratov Approach. All right, thank you very much. We're here with director Garrett Batty. He's the director of the film, The Saratov Approach. Thank you so much for joining us here today. Uh, tell us a little bit about this movie. For those who don't know, this is actually based on, on real events. Yeah, yeah, The Saratov Approach is a true story based on uh, events that took place in 1998 when two missionaries uh, were serving in Russia mm -hmm. and they uh, knocked on a door and, and surprised they, they were uh, taken and abducted and held for five days while ransom was demanded for their release. And so when you talk about this movie, you talk about taking from real life events. Um, how did you go about that? Um, the two missionaries, they're obviously they're alive and okay and they, they have they written a book about their ordeal or is this the first time that this been, has been adapted into a creative medium? This is the first time. Um, yeah, the two missionaries, I mean, it's no, it's no, uh, spoiler to, to let you know that, that, that they're alive now and well. I contacted them a few years ago uh -huh. uh, to talk to them about making their story into a film. Huh. And they were very, very, very reluctant uh, really? at first. And I, it just goes to show, I mean, the, the, these guys are two, um, you know, regular everyday guys, very, very humble about their experience. Uh -huh. um, and uh, it was my thought that, that uh, this experience could, you know, would make a great story. Right. And also be, be, a, be a neat, uh, a neat cinematic you know, Event. film. Yeah. Uh, so you, when you're talking about the, these two missionaries who were taken hostage, what did you do as far as uh, talking about the families and being back home? Because it, it's one thing to be to have a story centered in the United States, and but here they had to deal with thousands of miles, different languages, and a situation they were probably not familiar with. How did the families cope with that? Yeah, and that was one of the neat details that, that emerged through this creative process of coming up with the story is the, the amount of, of impact that their kidnapping had over, over here and their families. You know, one is from Boise mm -hmm. and uh, another missionary is, is, uh, lives in Arizona. Okay. And so their families were as much affected by this as, as were they. And little did they know that when they went off as missionaries that they'd be, in, be embroiled in this political situation. I mean, you're talking all the way from the president to the State Department to the families to the church Certainly. that was pray, praying for them and everything. Now, what ki as a filmmaker, what kind of experience was it for you to make this movie? I mean, you shot in Utah and you shot also overseas. What was that like going uh, to the <laughs> different locations? Yeah, it, w it was quite an adventure. Uh, you know, one of the things our goal was to make this as authentic as possible. So we didn't want to just film, you know, I'm, most of our set and everything is in Utah and all our interiors are in Utah. Mm -hmm. But when it came to telling a story about Russian missionaries, we, it was our goal to just be completely authentic. Nothing would give us away. So yeah, we put together a, a skeleton crew, uh -huh. uh, very, very small crew um, to travel over to as close to the actual place that we could get. And we went to Ukraine and shot for several days in Kiev. Uh, with, you know, foreign crews, and <laughs> uh, we hired uh, foreign actors. Uh, we, I directed a movie in a language that I don't speak. <laughs> and did you have a translator there to help you? Yeah, we did. <laughs> with the directions, <laughs> <laughs> we did. We had a translator, and it was huh. great. Uh, it, w it was neat because as we would tell anybody the story, uh -huh. they would get on board and they say, oh, "Yeah, wow. that's an amazing story. Let's let's do it." So, oh, wow. Ukraine, uh, you know, we hired two Russian actors out of LA and they w they came on board because of the story and so wow. it's the story that really transcended whatever culture we were filming in. Absolutely. Now this is this movie has been showing in town for the weekend and you have one more showing coming up tonight at 7 o'clock and you're going to be actually there with the movie uh, doing a question and answer service so right. people can come out for that. Yeah, it, the, the movie's at the Pine View 10 and we'll be there for as long as people go see it. Okay. So regular showings, just like you would see any other movie. Oh, fantastic. Tonight at 7 o'clock, special question and answer session uh, right after the 7 o'clock showing. So that's why we're here. Very cool. Now, one last thing. What is, what is one thing that you took away from directing this movie? That, I don't know if it changed your life or made you think differently, but what's one thing that will remain with you for a long time? I, I think if there's one thing, it, it has been how universal this story really is. You know, it's, a, it's about essentially a life and death situation. We've got two Americans that are, that are held against their will and seeing the amount of fan support that has come, you know, that has evolved from this story 
is, is phenomenal, and I'll, that, I'll keep that with me forever. That's great. All right, Garrett Batty, thank you so much for joining us today. Now we'll send it back to you at the desk. Thank you. All right, thanks, Matt. Again, uh, showing tonight with director Garrett Batty, 7 o'clock at the Pine Ridge 10. Of course, that's the main theater there in Chubbuck.